Praise the Lord, it's your boy, Minister Rod, coming at you with a word of the day. Days are not for sale. Hours cannot be brought. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'll rejoice and be glad in it. Today, our scripture text will be Matthew chapter 7, 24 through 27. Um, please read that in your own time. I'll not be reading it today. But today we're talking about trials, tribulations that come at you in a various of different ways. You know, and you hear a lot of people a lot of times say, girl or homie, I know what you're going through because I've been through it before. I am guilty of doing that myself. After I lost my mama, everybody that I ran across that lost their mama, I said, I know how you feel. But really, that feeling is customized to you. My position in life might be better so that even though it's tragic in my heart that I lost my mom, I'm able to survive. But it might be a young man that's a young girl who's 16, 17, 18, 19, not able to uh, physically take care of themselves. And now they've been left with a house note and a car note and they never had a job, never had any training in that area. And they're either going to survive or they're going to crash and burn. So it's you, your trials and tribulations are uniquely yours. Your sickness is uniquely yours. What happens to you on a daily basis is uniquely yours. You know, it's a story uh, that came out in 1840 about the big bad wolf and the three pigs. And um, later on in 1890, uh, it was rewritten and it came out about the fox in 2008 and almost in present time, the pigs had a baby. But the principle of the story is the same. See, the one pig made his house out of straw and the other one made it out of wood. And the last one was smart and he made his out of bread. So when the wolf came, the trial came, the tribulation came, uh, the life-threatening situation came, uh, the pig who built his foundation off of masonry survived. Well, the masonry in your life is Christ. Those who build their life off of Christ, even if you lose your physical life, you will never lose your heavenly home. So I recommend anybody that might be facing something in their lives, uh, particularly if it's life-threatening, go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9, 10, 11, and 13. And no matter what it is you're facing, at the end, you always win. And in life, the trials and tribulations that you face that are not life-threatening. Remember, if you stay with Christ, you always win. And you always have the victory. This is your boy, Minister Rod. Be blessed, be encouraged, and be highly faithful.